in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you how to beat the blitz in madden 20 for big gains and some concepts that's going to help you in madden 21. what's up guys my name is cody and welcome to my five sets for success series this is where i go through every playbook in the game and i give you five sets for success to be able to be effective on offense now if you've been around any me for any length of time you're going to know that my channel is designed to help you improve at madden 20 and help you improve in madden 21 we're working right now kind of training practicing getting ready for that launch what i want to encourage you to do if that's something that interests you or you want to get more involved with my channel what i want to encourage you to do is watch this video all the way through i think there'll be something in it that's going to help you if it does send me a text message just let me know let me know say you know hey what's up cody my name is blah 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 whatever your name is and we can engage in a conversation about Madden. You can ask me any questions or whatever. My cell phone number is 812-216-3644. I look forward to hearing from you. Let's jump into the video. So gun spread. I'm, I'm working out of the spread playbook. And so far, we've covered our base formation, which is the doubles Y flex offset. We've talked a lot about the spread, the flip trips, and the tray open. But now we're going to cover the blitz beater out of this and that comes from the doubles offset week and the reason it comes from the doubles offset week is because you got a running back on the left side of the screen and a tight end on the right side of the screen where it's going to allow you to pick up a lot of the big time blitzes that you're going to face now the first audible i like to set is pa bubble over and i guess it's already set for you the next audible i like to set is fake screen wheel pa jailbreak screen there's so many good things you can do here i actually like the strike hbc the RPO that I like to use out of this is the RPO bubble. The RPO orbit bubble is also a good one that you can utilize to beat the blitz. And then PA bubble over. And the play that I'm going to come out in and the play that I want to talk the most about is the play sale, as I think it's one of the better blitz beating concepts in the game. So again, here's how they're going to set their blitz up. This is a standard six man pressure. You're going to see this all the time. Now, if you want to pick up this pressure, all you got to do is click L1 and flick the right stick up and you're going to max protect and then you're going to see here we're going to pick up the pressure completely and you can deliver a dig route pretty straightforward right but what i want to do is show you how you can send five out on a route and be effective so in this example they're probably going to use this guy right here this is the side of the running back is on and this play right here strike hb seam you see the running back's going to be on a little seam wheel route here you can snap throw that right up the seam and you see it's going to beat the pressure defenses. In fact, it's not the only route you can snap throw. The sail route, you're going to see if they send any pressure here, I'm going to be able to snap throw the sail little quick out to the back. Um, and as you can see there, it's going to beat man to man. So these are two quick passes that really work well against the blitz. In fact, this little zig route right here, I can snap throw. I can snap throw that. Obviously, I shouldn't have right there. But I can snap throw that if they send the six-man pressure. They may or may not do that, right? But it's an option. One of the other things I'd love to do is turn this into a wide trips formation. Put this guy on a hitch right here, motion him across. And you'll see here at the snap of the ball, you're going to be able to hit that hitch route. Again, he's dropping that yellow zone. He's not truly running a, a, send, seven, a send seven look. Now, the RPO Orbit Bundle, or Orbit Bubble, this is a simple bubble screen that they're gonna that you can run. And again, what's going to happen is we're just going to bring this guy in motion. Looks kind of like a jet touch pass, and you're going to see I'm going to fake the, fake the dive, throw that little route out there. And as you can see right here, if they're in that dime 146, this is going to kill it. This is going to straight up kill it. It's going to kill most baseline defenses. Let me show you this from a pass uh, commit look here because that's what they're going to try to do to stop it. And you'll see here, I'm just going to run, and I can pop these bubble screens all day long, even against pass commit defenses, even against pass commit defenses. Now, if they're in, let's say they go to something like this, just a simple cover three right edge pressure look, which is something that they would do, right? You're going to see this is a pass commit. Let me just show you the RPO bubble. You can still pop it, as you can see there. My opinion, this is one of the better bubble screens in the entire game. What I like about it too is it's a read option attached to it, so I can run inside zone off of it, right? I can also, I can also, if they don't option quarterback, I can go with the quarterback if I want to. So I can run it middle, I can throw it out to the flat, or I can run it with my quarterback, depending on what the defense does. And this gives me a lot of flexibility. 
gives me a lot of flexibility in my play calling. It gives me a lot of flexibility in my options to beat the pressure defenses that we all face. Another play that I really like, again, this RPO orbit bubble. And you'll see here, this is just a simple pass committed defense. But if they're sitting pressure at you, this thing's going to pop. Quick 5, quick 10, it's going to get them to stop blitzing. That's the goal. Right? The goal is not to throw a screen pass every play. The goal is to get them to go to something like this, which is a standard Tampa 2 look. And you'll see here, this is a pass committed Tampa 2 look. You're still able to hit that RPO. Still able to hit that RPO, which is nice. And again, this it's an RPO orbit, so you're still able to run the ball. If you want to run the ball, you can. All you got to do is hit X, and you'll see here, he's going to run the ball right down the middle. So this works as a really good little quick game offense. Now, last play I want to talk to you about, and this is more for, on the strike HB seam, the C routes do a really good job against, like, Tampa 2. As you can see there, that seam wheel does such a good job. And what I would do, um, if I were you, is I would actually essentially turn this into a trips look. So I take Allison, put him on a hitch route. I got the out route over there. And now I'm just running a streak, hitch, maybe a smart route, a dig route, something like this. Very simple. But you see it's very effective. Very, very effective. The reason you're, call you're calling that specific route, strike HB seam, is because you want to, you want to throw that route right there to the back, which is, in my opinion, one of the best HB seam routes in the game. Now, let's talk about why sail just a little bit. What I like to do with this, you've got a deep dig, you've got a deep post, and then you've got this kind of angled corner. Um, this angled corner, to me, is kind of in the way. In fact, in most of the plays, this guy is kind of in the way. So I like to motion him to the right. And then from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically put him on a hitch pretty much nine times out of ten. I might put him on a quick out, quick zig. And I'm going to take my tight end and put him on a baby in. I might just block him, to be honest. But you'll see here, you can hit that. That route to the back is a two-window route. You can hit it kind of double time. So I love, love, love that read. Now, if they go to, if they go to like a... If they're going into a cover two heavy blitzing style, you can call this PA bubble Y overplay. And basically you want to run this to the wide side of the field. So you want Devonte Adams to be on the wide side of the field. And all you're going to do, all I would recommend you doing, is take your running back and block him. And then honestly from there, you're pretty much good. And you're going to see this route to the left is going to roast. If you hard pass lead to the left, you're going to roast cover two over the top, right, with a quick read. Now, what they're going to do on the back side is you're probably going to face some kind of zone combination. Um, let me see if I can get out of this menu. But realistically, you're probably going to face some kind of zone combination that their defense is going to hit you with. And you'll see here what you can do, though, that deep post route is going to kill cover two right over the top if we can make a catch that's going to kill cover two right over the top right in that pocket so you've got kind of several different options here this route to the running back is not bad um, you just for whatever reason you can't get it upfield but it works fine i would just block the running back because you're going to need the extra time this little bubble route is not terrible um, against the blitz you see here you can swerve catch it what i like about it is it looks like the bubble that we've been hitting them with from the RPO. It looks like this RPO read bubble, which they hate that because we've been throwing that for five and six and seven yards. That's the quick game aspect. So we got a quick best to the left. We've got a read option to the right. The other thing that we can do is we can also, when we go to that, um, when we go to the sale play, right, we can take this guy right here. And if we snap him right in here, you're going to see we can throw that ball right now. We can throw that quick little streak, little quick flat route, quick quick hitting routes um, is what really works well against the blitz. You can even put him on a simple five and out, motion him across, snap ball, and boom, you got a quick out route. So, so much you could do from a quick pass perspective. The things that I want you to key in on from this video is the strike HB seam route. Like I said, in my opinion, this is one of the best routes in the game. This, this formation specifically, you've got 
the ability to pick up pressure. So if I wanted to max protect, I could very easily do that. For example, if I wanted to max protect, then I could bring Lazard in motion right here. It's going to create kind of a trips tight end look, but I'm going to stop him right there and then motion out. And then I can click on and make a play with Devontae Adams if I want to do that. Like if they're, if they're base aligning their cover two, let me show you this right here real quick. So this is base aligning cover two. You see on the left side, that guy's in a bad animation. He's in a bad, a bad spot, right? So I'm just going to block my running back, bring Lazard over, Max Burrow. And you're going to see here at the snap of the ball, I'm just going to pass lead that to the left. And it's going to be a dot every single time against the Tampa 2 defense. So, again, such a critical read. And even if they don't do that, even if they don't do that, if they simply base a line and press, which most people will do. I mean, I've been guilty of it just as much as anybody. If they're in a base line press look, you should be able to hit them right over the top with Devontae Adams. Just hard left pass lead. And then we're going to click on, go up and make a play. At that point, it's a speed match. That's why, you know, having a Tyree kill or some kind of burner on the outside, it's going to kind of keep them honest. And then what's going to happen? You're going to throw these little RPOs. So this is a nice little quick game package out of the spread playbook. I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, shoot me a quick text. Just let me know that you enjoyed it. Let me know your name. If I don't have you saved in my phone already, I'd love to get you saved in there. But my number is 812-216-3644. And for those of you that have not already, I really want to ask you to join our Discord server. That's where you're going to get the most up-to-date content for Madden 21. It's also going to be the place that we're going to release a free offensive and defensive ebook for you there. And you don't want to miss that because, again, that's going to have – like probably over six hours of footage per playbook. So I'm going to go all out for you guys in there once we get 100 members. Thanks for watching, and we will see you guys in the next video.